Gertz. You said they didn't want to fight. You feel like Brandon Gertz wanted to fight you tonight? Brandon's an animal. He's the man, you know. Uh, this, that's what the fans deserve, you know. And uh, especially coming off my last opponent, Juan Archuleta, running like a little weenie. Uh, this, was, uh, this was super fun, you know. And that being said, uh, I'm dropping down on 35 to fight that guy, get that rematch. Have you, have you uh, fought 35 before? Yeah, I've made 35 before. No big yeah. deal. So you, you want the rematch despite the way that the uh, the first one went down and, and the yeah. way he fought? Yeah. You know, I like I like Juan Archuleta on a personal level. He's a good guy. He's a good father. You know, he's a good friend to his buddies. But uh, professionally and as a competitor, he's a fucking gimmick, you know. Any Mexican from Southern California, American, that calls himself a Spaniard and dresses up in costumes, he ain't a real one, dude. I'm not cool with that guy. I don't like... You know, no, there, was, there wasn't a winner in our fight, you know. He ran, I chased, nothing fucking happened. I dropped him, I got the only takedown. And uh, for, him to, for him to jump on the cage and celebrate like he fucking won something wasn't cool. And didn't sit well with me. And, you know, the fans were booing, justifiably so. And my mother was in the crowd in L.A., and my friends and family, and he, started, he flipped everybody off. And uh, I'm not down with that, dude. I'm like, oh, he's next. And I know bantamweight is a division they're building. They just put the belt back into play. So do you feel like you would have to probably get a win down there to, to solidify your, your title challenge? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. And uh, one more question about the fight tonight. Were you surprised that the judges' scorecards are kind of – you don't really see split decisions with 30-27s across the board. Yeah, these judges don't like me, man. They, they, don't, they, they don't like me. Uh, it's been like that across multiple states for some reason. So – it is what it is. We'll turn this over to our media joining us virtually tonight. Donna? Henry, uh, congratulations on a great performance. Where does that rank in terms of your great, uh, your great showings in your career? Yeah, I'm not sure. I got I to gotta take a look at it. You know, I felt a little sloppy in there. I felt a little, a little too horny in there for, for violence. Uh, lost my composure a couple of times, but whatever. Uh, you you were asked a little bit about this before, but when you go, so you're going down to bantamweight. Let's say the, Scott Coker says to you, you have to do a fight, and in between that, Juan Archuleta loses the belt. You still have your eyes on him, belt or no belt, right? Yeah, man. But it'd be nice to get to get a crack at the belt right off the bat. You know, I've played my dues in the sport, dude. I I literally just show up and fight whoever, whenever. It doesn't matter, dude. I don't even know why they offer me names when they call me for a fight. Just send the fu fucking contract and I'll sign it. Henry, Henry, congrats on the win. Uh, obviously, you're making a clear statement by saying you want Juan Archuleta next. Um, it, uh, so would you say that you're going to put a pause on your featherweight future and focus on uh, cutting down to 135? Yeah. All right. So, I mean, it, with that down, um, uh, how soon do you want to get back on the cage? Uh, I'm not sure. We're going to talk to the team and see what's up. Jay Anderson. Hey, Henry, congrats on the uh, win tonight. Just uh, one thing to start. It looked like you might have hurt your arm at one point there off a kick. How serious is that looking? I'm good, man. I'm good. Good stuff. And the leg kicks of your own were obviously a big part of uh, this fight. You really chewed up his uh, his leg. Was that part of the game plan heading in? It was, but I didn't think I, I didn't think I was gonna be able to get to it and stick to it. Just the way his knees position, he's really he's really wide on it. And so if I would have tried to go up top to the inner thigh, he would he would have checked it really hard with that knee. So I had to go lower to a spot that you don't really kick too often. But that was the only spot that was available on that front side. So I had to I had to take what I could get. Luis. Hi. We can't literally literally read. Guerrero Azteca in your chest. Uh, where does that root come from? And do you feel like that Aztec warrior felt present today in the cage? And does this feel especially in the Hispanic Heritage Month? Yeah, I'm a warrior, man. I've always been, you know, ever since I was a little kid, you know, and, you know, my, my family and everybody, you know, even my mom, she's a warrior. I've been seeing my mom. I got to see my mom scrap again, a couple scraps growing up. So that's just what we do, man. We're not, you know. It's a little family thing. We'll take a couple more here. Simon. Hey, congrats on the win, Henry. So you got to talk you. to me. He was throwing some big overhand rights and lefts. Uh, did you expect that going into this fight? Yeah, dude. Grits, 
Grits is what he is, man. And I've seen everything too, but he's still fucking cracking a couple times. I was just like, damn, dude. He's a, he's, he's a tough, fun fighter, dude. Yeah. Sean? Uh, congratulations on the win, Henry. Uh, you. When you look at your performance and you, you, you kind of, uh, you know, did you feel like you were hesitant? Or did you feel like that you were able to get in there and do exactly what you want to do? I mean, it's just been months since your last fight. I'm sure you were very over anxious to, in, to get back in the cage. Yeah, when you say looking at it, I haven't really looked at it. So I don't really know what's up yet. So I get to check it out. But um, yeah, it was tough to, uh, I felt comfortable putting pressure on him, but he was just sitting on hard shit. Like I just knew he was fucking going to chuck. So anytime I came forward and threw, I'm like, all right, I'm going to get cracked with something, and uh, fuck it. Congrats. All right. Thanks, Henry. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you, guys. Congrats.